everyone and I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I thought I would go through each category of my things and like today I'm going to do a concealer collection and describe what each one does and all that kind of thing and I thought I would do a series like for eyeliners and lipsticks and blush etc etc. And today I'll be talking about all eyeliners and like eyelid primers and that kind of thing. And the first one I will talk about is the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. As you can see, I have three of them. And this is just, this is a dollar. I just wear this in sheer. This is a great um, eye primer. It worked a lot better than a lot of the higher end ones. You can barely see that it's my skin tone and it just rubs right in. It dries fast. Um, it works great for me. I don't have oily eyelids. I'm not sure how it would be on that. And I just got this this week. This is the Dream Lumi um, concealer in Radiant, I believe. And it comes in this little pen. I've only used it a couple times. Um, I liked it the two times that I used it, so... I recently got this. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. And this is what it looks like. I really like the applicator and everything. It reminded me of NARS um, Radiant Concealer, which I have at work. I really like it, but it was settling in my lines too much. I just keep it at work for ac acne or spots on my face. And that is a swatch of the Radiant. It wouldn't cover acne. I've tried this quite a few times, but I don't like it because it settled into my fine lines and it made it all like kind of chalky looking and it, I don't like anything that settles into my fine lines. So if you're younger and you're looking for something and you don't have that issue, um, I definitely recommend that for you. And I bought this last year. You only need a tiny, tiny, tiny little drop of this. I believe the Wal Walmart Hard Candy, is it Hard Candy? The It's the concealer version of this in Hard Candy. This is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. And I wear this in shade Light 16. And I use this on acne spots on my face. This stuff is so amazing. When I'm finished with this, I'm not going to buy anything else. I'm just going to stick with this. You only need this tiny, tiny little dot, and it covers so well, and all you have to do is um, set it with powder, and you're good to go for the whole day. Sorry, my dog's like whining because she's afraid of the cat. <laughs> Ginger. And I used to use this quite a few years ago. This is the MAC Select cover in NC20. And I used to use this under my eyes. It doesn't really, it's a very sheer concealer. I don't even know why I still have this. But it's very sheer, it's very thin. It blends really well. But it doesn't really, I have darker under eyes. And it doesn't really cover well for me. And that's it blended. And I've had this MAC one forever. I should probably just throw it away because it's gross and nasty. And, well, I guess it's not gross and nasty, but it's just very old. It's this thick, waxy concealer. This is the MAC um, Studio Finish with SP35. And this is NC20. And... I just think it's too thick. I have dry skin, so if you have dry skin, this will um, grab to your patches and skin dry areas. So I definitely do not recommend this if you have dry skin. And definitely do not put this under your, on your under eyes. This is for um, spots and redness. And the next one, this is Dior. It's, I used it so much that it's completely come off. I forget the name of it, but it's the one from Dior. Um, I did like this a lot, but after a few hours of wearing it, it got really, really ashy on me. I think I have the lightest color in that, and it's pretty dark for a light concealer. 
and it blends so well and everything it just after a couple hours it will get really ashy on my under eyes and the next color up is too dark for me so if you have a darker complexion I recommend that for you this is the Urban Decay regular eyeshadow primer potion I do not like the regular one I think the elf does just a good a job so that's my feelings on that that's just a free sample that I had but on the other hand I do love this is the Urban Decay Sin um, eyeshadow primer I used it today if you want your your eyeshadow to have a shimmery look and this does a great job at that there it is there it's just the sin color basically is a base and it does a really good job it's really pretty it's easy to blend it doesn't dry too fast my shadows stick um, well to it um, I don't know why I like this one and not the other one I already bought a backup of this one as you can see I'm almost out and I do like this is as you can see that's rubbed off all the name and everything this is the wet and wild Fergie and I've heard if you have oily lids this is good for you and I'm almost out of this too I really 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 like the Fergie one I think I'm gonna buy another one of these you have to shake up this container really really well or it will just come out watery so just make sure to shake that up really well and I think it's only three bucks so if you're looking to invest in a new primer I highly recommend the Wet n Wild Fergie and my last two I was at Sephora a month or so ago and they threw in a free NARS um, Pro Prime eyeshadow base and I'm not it's only a sample size so I'm not gonna spread it but it comes on this dough tip like here and this does a good job I just prefer some of my cheaper ones to this but I when I finish this I guess I'll give it more of an opinion I've only used this a couple times and my new love my favorite concealer in the whole wide world this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye with collagen and vitamin c and k 0 0.28 fluid ounces you can buy this at qvc online or i bought this in ulta when i first bought this i got the wrong shade and light but one of my ipsy boxes gave me the next shade up sample size i'll keep this for travel but this is the full size version um, that's 0 0.28 in the sample size is 0 0.11 fluid ounces and I absolutely love this stuff I used to all be about the NARS radiant concealer but after I use this um, there's nothing compared to this the NARS I would it would still like crease and settle into my fine lines this does not do that at all as long as you set it I use the NARS reflecting powder to set my under eyes I don't use it for my face because it makes me too oily but it's good for my under eye but this stuff is amazing if you're older and you have fine lines um, it's a good color match um, it's really I the way that I use this I'm not gonna spray any out because it's expensive and I don't have that much left but that's the tube um, like the dot that I showed you before in the Cat D concealer, that's how much you need. You, you probably, that's too much. And I just rub it up, warm it up between my fingers and I'll place it here. And then I take my Sephora Pro Airbrush and I'll blend it in. And then one more time, I'll warm it up to make sure it's all, um, blended and I don't have, you can't see any stroke marks or anything. And if you're looking for a new concealer brush, I highly recommend the Sephora um, Pro Airbrush. This is number 50, 57. And I used to have the It Cosmetics one. I did a review, side-by-side -side review and demo of this between the It's Cosmetics brush. Um, I'll put a video link down below. But if you're looking for a new brush, this it's not too... It's not too coarse. Like the It Cosmetics brush was too 
it would go everywhere and it was really really hard to blend the concealer in this is the perfect it's so soft it's the perfect amount the size the shape it's really easy to use I have really small eyes and yeah I absolutely love this brush and that is all of my concealers if you have any questions on any of this put a comment but down below or email me um, please let me know what your favorite concealers are or eyelid primers and all that. Thanks and remember to subscribe. Bye!